Good morning. We are kicking off our Vienna trip in true Viennese fashion by sitting at a cafe and getting, well, not a cup of coffee, but a cup of tea. <laughs> See, they have this fancy thing. So once this one is done, his tea is done. That's kind of funny. I've never seen that before. Everything here on the main shopping street looks really fancy. They have all the big expensive brands and designers, but they also have H&M uh, and Zara and yeah, it's cool. Look at this cardigan shop. That must be for real older ladies. Mmm, pastry. I don't think I've seen a church this gothic before. It has so many ribs. I really like the roof of this church, but inside it's kind of dark. It's not my favorite, it's a little too, a little too creepy. I was just telling Dad, I was like, ah, oh, it smells like hoss poop or something. He was like, ah, no, I can't smell it. Walk around the corner and there's like at least 40 horses here. And they're all pooping, I'm pretty sure. So that's what I was smelling. I trust my nose. One of the best things about traveling is tasting the local food. And they have been talking about goulash and knuckle. And I thought knuckle was like a big chunk of meat, but apparently it's like a small pasta something. And I just ordered it, so I can't wait to try it. It looks really good. Mm. It tastes quite good, but it, it's kind of like normal pasta, maybe with a little hint of egg or something. Kind of have like pasta mixed with scrambled egg. But the goulash, the meat is really delicious. <laughs> That's pretty random. Bunch of horses. Pretty cool. Going into the Hofburg Museum, the Kaiser apartment. Can't wait to see it. Well, there was no filming in there, but I can tell you this, it was gorgeous. So much white and gold. It actually reminded me a little bit of um, Buckingham Palace when I went to see that in London. There was a whole exhibition in there about Cece, their famous empress. They didn't really like her. But after she died, they really idolized her and now everyone knows who she is and they kind of put this whole image on her. It would have been better if they actually liked her when she was here, but she was very much into freedom. She very easily felt tied down and she just had the urge to travel. So I can relate to her. I kind of liked her. <laughs> Sometimes it feels a little bit like Vienna was designed to make you feel small. <laughs> Everything is huge. The Vienna Ringstraße replaced the old city walls and moats. In 1850, the city was getting too crowded with traffic. So Kaiser Franz Joseph I decided to knock the whole thing down. Instead, he planned this green Ringstraße. It's 4 kilometers in total, or 2.5 miles, and it runs all the way around Vienna. I 
like how this was built for kings and queens and now the public is enjoying all of it. <laughs> I'm going in to see the butterflies. Sometimes there are no butterflies, but then all of a sudden one or two or three comes out of nowhere. And I'm scared that it might land on me. I'm a little bit scared of birds and pigeons landing on me because my brother had a bird when he was younger. And he always let it fly loose and land right here. So I'm kind of scared of anything landing there. But I guess a butterfly can't hurt that much, right? That was fun. Now I'm going to go and see if I can find Dad outside and try some sucker talkers. Vienna really is ridiculously luxurious. You can really tell that the Habsburg family had a lot of money. They built so many amazing buildings. Everything is so elegant and they are just living the good life here in Vienna. <laughs> I've only been here about 24 hours but I can already wholeheartedly recommend Vienna. <laughs> Vienna has one really famous cake and it's called the Sachertorten and it's a chocolate cake with apricot filling that they invented at this Sacher Hotel and this is the Sacher Hotel so we are gonna go and try a local dish let's test it we just went inside the Hofburg today and everything was red velvet on the walls and it's the same here everything is red velvet maybe that's the theme for Vienna look at this menu it's so old school it's a good experience, but it's really just a chocolate cake. <laughs> I like it. Mm. Okay guys, honest opinion. That Sacha Torte is not a very good chocolate cake. I think that it's one of the first chocolate cakes, so back then it must have been very fancy to be able to get a real chocolate cake. Anyway, that's what I think. Dad went home and I'm gonna explore the Albertina Museum. Don't know if I can film in there though, but we'll see. Please don't let it be expensive. Please. Wow, look at this place. This guy, he's pretty cool. about it. What I can conclude so far is that I like Monet and I really like some other dude that I forgot his name now and actually a few in there I really liked. And then there was a couple of them that were just really funny. There was one that was called a double self-portrait with lobster. <laughs> what is that? I don't know anything about art, really. I haven't studied it, I don't do anything, I just walk in and I look around, have fun with it, and sometimes I see something that I really like. I just try to have an open mind and explore it. Look at this, they have other state rooms. Pretty cool.
I didn't even know they have those rooms in here. It was even better than the Hof book. Crazy. In the basement, seriously, they have this amazing exhibition right now. I don't know how long it runs for. It's called Drawings Now, and it is ridiculously nice. It is so cool. They have installations and they do all kinds of stuff with drawings. Oh, and I forgot, they have state rooms in here that are incredible. I think personally that they're even better than the ones at the uh, uh, yeah, that one. The other one is pretty cool too. It's just very Austrian history and it's all about that one emperor and his empress Sisi. So if you're not really into that, all that kind of stuff, go check out this place instead. It's just as good. We always have new adventures coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to join us and see where we're heading next. Oh, and I forgot. Okay, I didn't forget. It's loud. Oh, and I forgot, they have state rooms in here that are incredible.